Hey guys, your inner chakras, welcome back to the channel guys if you are new you are welcome remember i just said on the previous reading i said i just turned on all my alerts again and i'm glad i did because i set up a um with veterans it's either veterans or the other one whichever one where they come and they pick up the stuff that you don't want anymore that's still good for other people well i made an appointment and they're coming tomorrow they just sent me a reminder i did pack up a lot of things like I went up in the attic guys and I do this at least once or twice a year where I go and I get rid of everything from towels sheets pots and pans um uh, workout equipment everything that I give them is still good like it's just I just don't want it anymore but it's good for them I give away shoes boots sneakers heels books um yard stuff equipment everything still works i've given away uh keyboards monitors i don't give away the computer part of it but you can buy the computer part but i give away so much stuff i still have a few more closets that i need to go through which i guess i'll do that today as much as i can so they can come and they can get it all it's also a way guys to help clean and declutter your home even though you can't see it because they're in the closets or up in your attic or in the garage but i have this thing that i don't need it here right and then someone else can use it i give away everything from tupperware you know how you go and you buy the new plastic tupperware every time i get new tupperware i give them the old set i give them the old silverware i give them everything guys i give them everything and they're coming tomorrow and i'm excited about it i wanted to give them i have a nordic track exercise bike but the bike probably weighs about 200 pounds and i remember when i got it i put it together because that's just me i'm very handy and i, I put things together so when i put it together First, when I opened the box, I had to bring it upstairs piece by piece, piece by piece, piece by piece because it's that heavy. But when I got it upstairs, I put it together, put it together. It's the kind, it's almost like a, um, what's that popular one that's out right now? Um, I can't think of it. It's real popular. But you can ride with other people you can do all those other things like that's the bike that i want next that's the one that that's the one that i want next and i see it in my mind i just can't think of the name of it but it's a bike like that it's like you can log on to it you can log on you can do workouts you can ride your bike in africa you can ride it over here you can ride it in all these different places wherever and it tells you what to do it's you can increase it it's it's a really good amazing bike i just don't want it anymore because I want the, oh gosh, everybody, I think it starts with the P, the Peloton. I want the Peloton, yes. That's what I want now. So um, I wanted to give that away, but of course I waited to the last minute and I can't get it down the steps because um, it's just too heavy. I actually have to take it apart. And if I take that baby apart, I'm not putting it back together. No, I'm not putting it back together. But I would love to take it downstairs, put it out front, and then just put a sign on it and say free to a good home because people will come and get it because it still works, it plugs in. I just don't want it anymore, right? So, guys, if I trusted y'all enough, I'd post it and be like, hey, if you in Jersey, come get it. It's free. And then one of y'all can come get it. But I don't know y'all like that. Nah, I'm just kidding. But I don't, right? I know all y'all are good people. There are some wicked people you just don't know in the world. But I wish I could be like, hey, guys, come get it. It's right out front. First come, first serve. Or if you hit me up or something like that. But mm -mm. Holy Spirit, what's going on? So I am happy that veterans or the other one. I think it's veterans. I'm glad they're coming tomorrow so I can get rid of this stuff. Holy Spirit, what's going on? I'm in a mood today. I must be in a good mood. Yeah, I found my balance. Maybe that's it. Maybe I found my balance. Maybe you found your balance. This is balance. Maybe you found your twin flame. That is number 11. Holy Spirit. And it's an angel. The angel of balance could be coming in to help you, right? Yes, new beginnings. Somebody could have found their balance. Somebody could have found their other person. 
Somebody could have found their twin flame. This is new beginnings. This is ground zero. Starting over. Starting over. Brand new beginnings, right? Whole brand new world. It's like a breath of fresh air, right? Holy Spirit. Choose wisely. So you're going to have a choice in your new beginnings. You're going to have a choice in where you decide to go or who you decide to date, whether you choose to be alone. You're going to have options. You're going to have choices. Spirit said choose wisely. It's the seven of cups. All those seven of cups aren't good because on some of the cards you can look at it, it has love in there. It has deceit in there. It has money in there. It has this in there. It has the dope. It has a whole bunch of things in those seven of cups. So choose wisely, guys. It may not be a glass cup, but you probably can't see what's on the inside, right? And then solitude. And you're definitely spending time with yourself, by yourself. You could be reading, doing a lot of reading, a lot of self-reflecting. could be meditating. You're definitely in the books. You're in solitude. Mm -hmm. Getting to know you again. Getting to know you again. Holy Spirit, I hope this energy stays all day, guys. I feel really bubbly, right? If 10 was the best of the best, that's how I feel right now. And I feel like I'm on a 10. I feel like I'm on a 10. Holy Spirit, what's going on? You found your balance. Uh, you have the options for new beginnings. You start Nova. You're not up in your head about it. You're definitely choosing you. You're not losing sleep. You're getting your eight hours. It's the Knight of Cups in reverse. You're taking your love from somebody. Somebody's taking their love away because you're not happy. The Sun card is in reverse. So I guess when you put yourself back out there, you know to choose wisely because what you don't want is what you'd had before. You don't want that again, right? You don't want that again. And see, and that's the thing, guys. When you change yourself or you go through a relationship, and then you back to you again, remake that list. What you will and will not deal with. What you will and will not put up with. Don't take a liar. Check them on their ish. Somebody who can't be like, okay, we're going to meet at 10. They keep texting you. I'm on my way. They don't get there till 1030, 1045. That's disrespectful. Because if you tell me you're going to pick me up at 10, I'm ready at 945. Because I know anywhere between 9.45 and 10, you should be pulling up in front of my house. That's disrespectful. I'm either always on time or before. I'm never late. I just want the same mother effing courtesy, right? This was a karmic will. You was in a messed up relationship for a minute, and that's why you're spending time by yourself. You're in solitude. You're just, I don't know, but you have you have a chance at a new beginning. Take your time. Don't rush into a new beginning. I know everybody wants to be in a relationship, but you don't have to rush in. Get to know you again, right? Get to know you. Sometimes it's nice being single. It's nice being single, right? Just like, here's a good example, okay? So there's this married man, married man, been married for a very long time, years. This married man, this is a true story. Married man is finally divorced, right? Meets someone new immediately. Moves this person in immediately. And the first words out of their mouth is what? I can't believe I'm living like I'm married again. Mm -mm. That means he jumped too soon. That means you wasn't ready to get back into a relationship like that. That means you damn sure wasn't ready to move somebody in with you. You were still dealing with the residuals of your ex-wife. Give it some time. Let it breathe. Let yourself breathe. Let it heal. Because if somebody moves in with you and now you're talking about how did I put myself back here, you know how you put yourself back there. Learn how to be alone. Learn how to be the F alone before you invite somebody else in because it's not right. That's not right. You get this woman all happy. She moves in with you and then you're like, well, dang, I feel like I'm married again. Who does that? Who does that? You know what it's like living with somebody. Yeah, you live like you married. Whether you married or not, you do because it's respect on all levels. 
You don't just move in with anybody and think you can do what you want to do. No, that, that's not the deal. You move in with somebody, the deal is it's respect on all levels. You can't be coming in the house at 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 in the morning. Because one thing about me is I give what is given. You come up in this house at 2, 3, 4, 5 in the morning, I'm going to do it too. I may not be out there with another person. I may be at my friend's house in their extra bedroom. But trust and believe, I'm going to walk up in this house at 2, 3, 4, 5 in the morning. You know why? So you can feel it. So you can see the disrespect. So you can feel the disdain. Right? You give people what they give you. No, you're not out there doing nothing wrong. But I'm damn sure going to give you what you give me. You come up in here at 2, 3, and 4 in the morning. Guess what? I'm going to come here at 2, 3, 4 in the morning too next month. Watch it happen. And then guess what? They'll stop that ish. They'll stop it. Because all is fair in love and war. My brother told me to think like a man. It has nothing to do with Steve Raggedy ass Harvey. With all his effed upness. It doesn't. Um... But I will give you what you give me. Period. Amen. Pe so if you want a nice woman, be a nice man. You want a loving woman, be a loving man. You want to be give gifts, give gifts. Right? You want love, give love. You want respect, give respect. Whatever you expect from me, I expect from you. And all y'all should get on that same page. Go ahead. Flip the book. It's chapter three. I give you exactly what you give me. No more, no less. And that goes for men and women. Because there's a lot of men today who get walked over by these women as well. Stop that ish. Don't let nobody walk over you. The hell? Your mama didn't teach you that. Neither did your daddy. No, you're not getting walked over. Holy Spirit. So you're not up in your head anymore, guys. Take your time. Take your time. You just got off of a karmic wheel. Heal from that. You're the Knight of Wands energy. You still got a lot of passion in you. You're still happy with yourself. You still have more to give to other people. That's fine. You do. You do. But you're still feeling a little unbalanced. See, you're not ready yet. No, I'm not ready yet. Okay? It's still unbalanced. The connection that you were in was unbalanced. And you could still be a little off, right? A little off. Mm -hmm. And that's why you're rushing, you're moving away, you're running away fast. Because you're not happy. You're not happy. And you want new beginnings. And there are new beginnings out there. Just tiptoe your way in. Date other people. Don't just date one and fall in love with it and then six months later you're like, oh my God. No, date several people because your past relationship changed you. It did. It did. Every experience is an experience. And in every relationship you learn new lessons. So take what you learn. Get to know yourself. Do not just jump your ass back into another relationship all because you don't want to be alone be alone it's okay be alone for a little bit nothing wrong with it there's not there's nothing wrong with being alone start working out fix yourself change your wardrobe start a youtube channel start talking about your past relationships i don't know but don't just go jump back out there into the pool for what it's not the pool pit where you get prayed on and prayed for. It's not the pool pit. It's the pool. It's the pool with the pissy water. It's the pool that everybody's playing in. Don't get in the pissy pool. Don't get in the baby pool. Holy Spirit. So you're happy. You got clarity on your life. You know where you're headed, or at least in your mind. You got clarity. You still got love in you, though. And you got the Ace of Pentacles. So Spirit is right here for you. You have a chance for abundance, love, new things, great things, new opportunity, money, manifestations, all of that. You have all of that in you. You've been through the tower. That's why you're running. You've been through the tower. Hell, you probably blasted the tower. You probably made it happen, right? Set off the dynamite. You are. And you're over it. 
You're over something. You're over it. That's why you want new beginnings. And that's fine. You can get your new beginnings. Just take your time. Slow your roll. Holy Spirit, anything else for the collective? Just take your time, guys. You was manipulated. Is this the same person that was just manipulated in the previous video? It was a lot of manipulation going on there. But you're still hopeful. You're still hopeful when it comes to love. You're still hopeful when it comes to relationships. You didn't give up. You know, you didn't give up. It just wasn't with this person. There was no victory there. You was dealing with somebody who felt unpopular. They didn't feel noticed. They didn't feel recognized. They didn't feel this. They didn't acknowledge you. They don't acknowledge themselves. And it was just too much. You backed up. You took your love out. Maybe you realized that this wasn't even love, right? Ace of Cups in reverse. You do not want any new beginnings with this past person. There's no new beginnings. You're not going to take that leap of faith with them again. Not with that person. But guess what? They still want you back. Eight of Cups in reverse. They could be trying to create some delays and all of this stuff. Maybe that's the person that's trying to be hopeful. But you don't love them no more. You do have fond memories of the past, though, with somebody. I don't know if it's the same person. But you do got fond memories of some past. You're reminiscing about something. But this one here, the one that wants you back, you don't want them back. You can't manifest with this person. The magic is not alive in that connection, right? You can't build with that person. You're not on the same, you're not on the same accord right now. You're just not. It's just not. You're standing in your strength. You're thinking about something or someone from your past. You're up in your head. You just have blinders on. Take the blinders off. You're still up in your head. Mm -hmm. This past person, you love this past person. I don't know who it is, but that's who you want to be your next lover. But you still need to heal. You still need to heal from this, whatever this is. You still need to heal before you jump ship and try to go back to the past. Because let's talk about the past. What happened in the past to where you lost that person that you have all these fond memories with? Something happened there. So if you can remember what happened there, have you fixed that part of you? Have they? Is it worth going back? Right? Will it work if you go back? Do they want you back? Right? Are they reminiscing about you? Are y'all in contact? Are you talking? You know what I mean? So you got to make sure that whatever happened in the past with this person that you love, um, you definitely had some issues there. So have that been corrected, right? You can't just jump back into the past. I mean, it's nice. It's nice, but you need to have fixed what happened in that past. Have they changed? Are they still the same person, right? Holy Spirit. Spirit told me to talk to y'all today, right? Yes, that nine of pentacles again in reverse. Who is that person? This person came out in your last reading. You have a nine of pentacles in reverse who wants you back. And then you have this queen of wands. Upright. Who's just fancy free, happy, creative, happy-go-lucky. So this nine of pentacles in reverse, same person from your previous reading. There's no love there. Nine of Cups in reverse. There's no emotional fulfillment. It's two nines in a row. You probably went through this nine times with this person and it still didn't fill you up. It still didn't fill you up. And you don't know if you have to take an L with this person from your past, the one that you're thinking about. You don't know. You could be scared to pursue it again, which means take your time. You found out secrets and lies about this person. The Nine of Pentacles in reverse. And it's just too many burdens. You realize that you was doing it by yourself, probably in this connection by yourself, mentally anyway. There was no love there. You just want to agree to disagree with this person, whatever happened, the betrayal. You don't even want to talk about it. Like, I don't even want to argue with you about it anymore. It happened. I'm done. I'm moving on, right? It happened. I'm done. There was infidelity here. Too many burdens. Maybe you saw this person as your queen of wands, and you probably did. And they still played you. They still played you. There was infidelity here. Holy Spirit. So when you put yourself back out there, guys, choose wisely. You will have seven options to choose from. All of those options in the Seven of Cups aren't good. So any, meeny, miny, mo, your ass. <laughs> 
until you figure it out. You're swimming away to calmer waters, guys. You're definitely moving on. This is that King of Cups again. Guys, this person and the last reading is the same. It's the same. Your person was cheating with this King of Wands in reverse, and that's why you ended things higher than in reverse. So, guys, take your time, especially if you're trying to approach someone from your past. Make sure they feel the same way, right? Make sure they're feeling the way you feel. Make sure they're reminiscing, too. Make sure they want you back. Yes, you could still be in love with that person, the person from your past where you had something good, but are they in the same place? That means you reach out to them, you talk to them. Just don't throw yourself in. You you talk to them, right? I don't want you to get back out there and get your feelings hurt. So take your time, guys. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Peace.